Russia is making diplomatic efforts through distribution of its COVID-19 vaccine to countries who haven't been able to secure vaccines produced in the West. After first facing scrutiny on whether Russia's vaccines actually work, now the question has become whether they can meet worldwide demand. Here's ABC's Patrick Rival. Once much criticized, Russia's Sputnik V vaccine has now joined the international arsenal of vaccines to combat the pandemic. In Latin America, Sputnik V seen as a lifeline. Shipments of desperately needed doses arriving to battered countries across the region. Back in August, Russia declared it had approved the world's first COVID-19 vaccine. It was met with much skepticism. I hope that the Russians have actually definitively proven that the vaccine is safe and effective. I seriously doubt that they've done that. And at that time, Russia hadn't. It rushed the approval process, announcing it was ready even before starting a key phase three trial. But in December, Russia published results of that trial. And just last month, The Lancet, a prestigious medical journal, published a peer-reviewed study showing Sputnik V is safe and over 90% effective. David Grout, an American living in Moscow, decided to get the vaccine. When I first heard that uh, Russia had a vaccine last September, of course I had my doubts. Medical technology is not one of the things you think of when you think of Russian uh, know-how. So I, I was skeptical. He has now had both shots of Sputnik V. I had mild fever and uh, kind of body aches, sort of a chill feeling. And uh, I also took some painkillers and the next day I was fine. But while most Russians are now eligible to get the vaccine, many are still holding off. Only around 2% have been inoculated. And in a recent poll, 62% of Russians said they don't want to get the Sputnik V vaccine. The overly hasty approval last summer, partially to blame. A lot of people, they don't trust in Sputnik. They don't want to be vaccinated because they saw all this questions and expert concerns about vaccine, about safety and efficacy. But while there's little appetite in Russia to get the shot, the Kremlin has turned to using its vaccines as a diplomatic tool. It is not a donation. We are paying for them. But if the Russian government hadn't allowed the shipment, we would not be able to access these vaccines today. But Russia is facing a production problem as demand soars. Around 50 countries from Latin America to Asia have ordered 1.2 billion doses of the Russian vaccine. Hungary is the first European country to begin using Sputnik V, despite the European Union not yet approving it. But they haven't received close to the 600,000 doses the country was supposed to get the first month. We only got like 25% of the, of the amount that was promised for the first um, 30 days. This week, Slovakia and the Czech Republic also appealed for doses. Russia is banking on producing its vaccine elsewhere. So maybe this uh, contract to send a lot of billions of doses abroad, they're made in hope that soon we will have this production. I think at the moment it's impossible because at the moment we don't have enough vaccines even for Russia. With new variants surging in Europe and other parts of the world, the need for more vaccine is stark. The question now, can Russia keep pace with the promises it's making as it continues its diplomatic efforts all over the world? Patrick Rival, ABC News. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.